<laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my Tastic Me. Uh, welcome back to my show. This is your friend Rico Vera. And um, today I'm going to talk about something that I'm normally not uh, super happy with or not a fan of. It's Malbec. Uh, I was given this Malbec, uh, 2009 Malbec, and I wanted to try an older Malbec, even though it's not like top shelf or anything. But um, I normally don't like Malbecs because of the short taste. They have a very, very short finish. Um, you know, I like caps because they have the long, fancy finish and uh, long finish with either, either fruit, vanilla. Uh, Malbecs, they kind of just seem to cut it short and. Um, I'm actually like uh, one of those guys who likes to take it for a long ride and not the short ride. But this Malbec is very interesting. Uh, look at the colors. It's a 2009. And it's barely starting to oxidize. I want you I want you to see the color. It's pretty deep. Okay. Pretty deep uh, as you can see. And it's not losing its character. Um, it's still very peppery. It's still very uh, tannic. Hi tennis. Um, I'm really shocked. Uh, and this actually comes from, I'm gonna show you the bottle. This actually comes from uh, it's about like 09, 2009. And it comes from Arbor Bench Vineyards. It's here in Geyserville, about 30 minutes away from my house. And um, this is such a nice Malbec that I think is crying for a steak. I think it's uh, just asking for one. And the funny thing is I used to tell people when I used to, used to come tasting, I was a wine educator, and I used to tell people, like couples, they're like, oh, you know, so what? I go, yeah, you want to pair this with a nice steak. And they're like, what is that like? You know, it goes like people dating. <laughs> they go, what do you mean? I go, yeah, it's like, you know, she could be the fine wine. She's aging like fine wine, and you could be the meat. <laughs> <laughs> and they just sit there and laugh and then people just laugh about the jokes and then some people start telling their own jokes you know and different groups start interacting this is all before the pandemic interacting with each other you know and breaking the ice and they're just celebrating people are people were there for the, their anniversaries uh birthdays and you know people just start singing happy birthday i mean it was so nice though, especially when you break the ice you know people make it too serious it's like break the ice that's what wine's about Enjoying it. Hmm. Pairing up with a nice steak or some nice some cheese, some old English cheddar. Um, you know, nice it's kinda like parmesan taste to it to it, but a little bit of creamy on the side, you know. It's kinda it's really nice. I mean look at the body on this. I mean and this is not a top shelf wine. I mean I'm really really super shocked how great it is trying to angle it the right way so you guys can see um, I'm just really really shocked guys how I'm gonna switch hands because I don't have my hands free uh, thing you know little thing that you use for the phone to film but again I want to go back to the wine a lot of pepper definitely uh, some tannins left a little bit of oxidation i think this this is still good for about three years it looks like somebody was storing it right um otherwise they'd probably be gone by now because it's not a super expensive wine i think it's probably like 15 dollars when it first when they first sold it or now that you know the ones that are making now for for this year or the last couple of years probably about 15 dollars uh you know so this has been a 2009 usually they go up in price so Let's just say that it's a $40 bottle because it's aged. And um, it's worth it. I mean, I'm not, like I said, I'm not a big fan of Malbec. I'm not crazy about them. Hmm. A little bit oxidized. Um, it's nice though. I taste this like 04s, 03s, even 99, 1999, back in 2018 or so. And they tasted like they were already losing their character. Their character, they were already beginning becoming like an orange color. So, but this guy is still ready. And like I'm telling you, it's asking you for a steak. It's just like, please bring me a steak. I want to play. <laughs> it's like it's like it's like speed dating, right? 
I think I'm just gonna have to place it and get a go get a steak. I mean, it, it needs one. But uh, like I said, a lot of black pepper, some deep, deep, deep uh, espresso, um, a twist of oxidation in it, like very little. No, uh, but it's good though. It's, it's, it's still. I don't usually like that feeling in the tongue though, like the dry feeling in your tongue. You know, like some people used to describe it because they don't know how to describe it. And the taste of people that are, they know much about wine, they're like, oh yeah, like paper. <laughs> you know, that you kind of do get that, that little bit of a, a feeling to your tongue. I call it a cat tongue, right? You know, like <laughs> like a cat tongue. But this is phenomenal. I mean, I'm enjoying it. And you can learn something new about wines every day. I mean, doesn't matter how, doesn't matter how good you are. Last time I made a video about a, a, a Cabernet from here in Sonoma County over in Alexander Valley. And uh, it was just uh, a cab that was like fruity. And it was like a 2011 or 13 or so. No, no, it was a 2012. And uh, it was so good that it tasted like a raspberry or um, blackberry yogurt. Like both, you know, raspberry and blackberry were mixed together. And it was like, you know, like not tannic. It was very fruity. I mean, I'm telling you, it was like, it, well, I didn't even come up with it. My friend who I shared the wine with was the one who said, oh my God, this is like yogurt. Like literally uh, raspberry yogurt. And I'm like, wow, I, they, they, he nailed that. I was like, wow. And then again, he, he does make his own wine. So he knows, and he's not a professional winemaker. He learned from working in wineries, where he now makes some wine and actually starts to, starting to sell it. And uh, pretty darn good wine. I mean, for, our, I think the, his wine is like maybe 70% Merlot and 30% uh, Cab, maybe 65, 35. But man, it's pretty good. It's, it kind of tastes similar to this, a little more, a little more bold, a little more uh, tannins. But uh, he definitely, he definitely gave it a Bordeaux twist to it. Well, guys, um, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this. I hope the New Year brings us better things for 2021. Um, why not have some wine and say goodbye to um, 2020 and cheers cheers for a better year and hopefully that we get over all this craziness sooner than later, right? And um, best wishes to you guys. And stay healthy, be careful out there, and stay happy. Enjoy the best of life. Make the best of every day because not every day is promised. So be grateful for what you get and enjoy. Take care, guys. Uh, welcome back to Wine Me. If you like the video, please click the channel and um, please click the like button and subscribe. Um, you know, so I can keep making new videos for you. Uh, we're gonna start making videos a little more professional. Uh, this is very casual. I was sitting here watching TV. Open the bottle. I wanted to just kind of enjoy myself, but I wanted to talk about it because the last mile like I talked about, I wasn't really into. Uh, it was it was good, but Malbec are not my thing. And it has been aged for almost 11 years. For 11 years, yeah, because in 09, I wanted to try it. I wanted to see what an older Malbec tasted like. And remember, this is not a Malbec from Argentina, where they originate from, okay? So this is not a Mendoza Malbec, but... It's here, it's a California Malbec, but it's still really good. I mean, I don't know. I, w I wish I could try it versus uh, no 09 Mendoza Malbec, right? So we can compare and I can tell you about it. But fortunately, I don't have one of those handy because I don't usually keep Malbecs around. But um, I'll, I'll check on one, something like that. And we'll, be keep, we'll keep talking about Malbecs. Uh, we'll keep finding the perfect one. But this is very decent. Hmm. Hmm. And the nose is just... Hmm, almost like bright, almost like a deep plum, slash um, some kind of an herb, a little herby, mm, or, or like a flower. Yeah, more like a flower. And you don't find a flowery smell usually in red wines. Yeah, so like deep plum, almost like jasmine, light jasmine to it. Very interesting, guys. You know, and like. I mean, I'm just shocked on how good it is. 
and I'm pretty, pretty pleased. Guys, welcome back to Fantastic Me. Cheers to you. Again, please like the video and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Take care, and Happy New Year. Happy 2021 to you guys, and enjoy and make the best of it. Remember that, because you do matter, and we only live once. Take care.